There is a new high tech way to detect cancer and it's having an impact on patients in and out of the hospital. Fox 5 Sharon Crowley shows us how it works in tonight's Big Idea. You're looking forward to a long life, I hope. Maybe about 100. 77-year-old <laughs> prostate cancer patient Alex Sarmiento has good reason to feel optimistic about his future. Three years ago, Alex was diagnosed with prostate cancer and the disease had spread to other parts of his body. I asked Dr. Nano, should I retire? Because if your husband is dying, enjoy the last years of your life together. I said, no, don't retire, don't retire. At first, Alex's condition with treatment remained stable. But in April, after a trip to visit family in the Philippines, his health rapidly declined. I was weak and exhausted. I thought it was uh, a jet lag. Alex's wife says her husband was twice put in the hospital and given debilitating rounds of chemotherapy. When you have cancer, there's really no relief. Instead of getting better, Alex was getting weaker. Dr. David Nanus is the chief of hematology and medical oncology at New York Presbyterian. He decided to give Alex a liquid biopsy. This diagnostic test, with the help of technology, is being used in new, innovative ways. Dr. Scott Tagawa is an oncologist at New York Presbyterian. If someone develops what we call advanced cancer, or some people would call it metastatic cancer, that is individual cells from the tumor breaking off and landing somewhere else. And that is in general, if someone is going to die of cancer, that is usually why. As those cells travel around in the blood, we can capture them in a test tube. We could then take those individual cells from the test tube and analyze them. The test is relatively non-invasive. In the past, in order to get tumor cells from a patient, a doctor had to do surgery or a biopsy. Now a nurse draws blood from the arm like what happens in a routine blood test. The blood sample is taken to a lab in the hospital. That sample is put into a machine called a cell selector. Using the cell selector, the lab technician can isolate cancer cells from healthy blood cells. Images of the cancerous cells are then projected on a computer screen to be studied by the doctor. The pictures can reveal what kind of tumor it is, the DNA of the tumor, and if the cancerous tumor is becoming resistant to a drug. The results of the liquid biopsy help doctors customize a treatment for the patient because it can determine the type of the tumor a patient has and what medicine will work best in treating it. What it also allows us to do is to figure out why a certain patient's tumor is becoming more resistant and get ahead of that. Some doctors say the liquid biopsy has revolutionized oncology. The results allow doctors to track the progression of the disease in real time. You could have a liquid biopsy every day, essentially removing the guesswork and allowing doctors to prescribe the right treatment. It was a quick turnaround time that I got this result almost within a week, uh, whereas sequencing the tumor sometimes can take a little bit longer. And it informed me that he had a BRCA you know, mutation. Just a few months into his new treatment, Alex's health dramatically improved. He was getting much, much As better. As a doctor, is that satisfying? Very satisfying, very satisfying. So I would say in the liquid biopsy really helped me quickly make a treatment decision, get him a drug that was very effective with not a whole lot of toxicity. He's doing very well. You feel better? Yes. Instead of having a sick spouse with you, you know, I have somebody that we, we do everything basically like what we did before. Sharon Crowley, Fox 5 News. And head to our YouTube page to see other big idea reports from our Fox 5 team. Making good progress. Yeah. All right.